Hello world and welcome to Los Angeles. Today's episode will be full in English, so prepare yourselves and get your freaking books out. This amazing house you see behind me belongs to a very extraordinary person. And I want to talk to you guys about this. So basically, when we decided a road trip in uh, California, we decided to do it the cool way. So we said, let's not let Airbnb or rent stuff. Let's try and couch surf as much as we can so we can meet locals and we can have new experiences and have a, like a more full, like, no, what I did in New York, what I did in New York was stay at my friend's place and uh, just be a regular tourist. And then... Coming to LA, we wanted to go like roots and uh, get to know the locals. So we went on couch surfing, we applied, nobody answered, and then someone asked us if we wanted to stay at his place, although we didn't even send you a request, right? Yeah. You're just an amazing person. So he looks at people online, he has this thing called Rula, which is the runaway university, and he hosts loads of couch surfers. Let me introduce you to an amazing person, Mr. Glenn. Hello, Glenn. How are you doing? Welcome to the amazing Paolo video, uh, English Los Angeles, New Taipei edition. So, um, Glenn, you're a pro couch surfer from... <laughs> you are a pro couch surfer. You are, you do know that. From Rosemead. Like you need the globe in here. Somehow. Yes, you do. You, you do. Need the spinning globe. So let's see. You started where? Over here. We started in Portugal, and then we flew did, 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 all did, did, the did. way to New Nurkles, and from New Nurkles we flew all the way to Los Angeles. And next stop, New Zealand? No, too far. <laughs> so uh, basically, what I was uh, trying to go is you're a pro couch surfer. You host a lot of people. So if my viewers come to LA and want to stay at Rula. What do they have to know? What is Rula? What just... Ah, Runaway University, Los Angeles. It's basically couch surfing, but it's sort of a alternative. A lot of the surfers I've had have been people who are doing like a gap year between high school and college, or a lot of people who are uh, working as au pairs somewhere in the United States, and then they travel, you know, on the weekend or at the end of their time. So it's just that, like everybody should, uh, so, so you're kind of teaching vlogging 101 now. So this is like your class. Yes. Um, and we're all learning how to, so what's this cool, have your viewers seen this cool rig that you have? Yeah, that did it. I did it. Well, actually, a pretty cool story because uh, I went from Portugal, did a bunch of really cool videos all the way to France, then France to New York, and then the whole day in New York. And I bought this phone and... That night, I'm in the bathroom taking a huge dump. I haven't told them this before because it wasn't Portuguese, but anyway. Newsflash. Newsflash, Paolo was taking a dump. I'm on Facebook, and suddenly my phone goes, we need to reboot. Ouch. And when it comes back up, it had deleted, like, three years of the photos of my life. All the videos... Like, I didn't have but a backup. You wisely had all of this no, on, like, Google I Photos, didn't. and it was, like, just seamless. No. I did not have a freaking backup. We have the so that's the first. lesson later. I know, today. I know. That's the frustration of my first look. So, uh, we're hungry. We want to eat. We are in New Taipei. Because you haven't eaten for, like, days, right? I know. So right. you have to make up for it all in one day. I don't usually eat, so now we have but to But this go. is going to be the big day? You're I gonna know. You're going to have, like, a burger, maybe, somewhere? Oh, we're going to in and out for shizzle. <laughs> Today, I'm stuffing my face on in and out But for now, we are in New Taipei. In case you guys don't know, Rosemead is New Taipei, so there's a lot of Asian people around here. So, we're going to have... Dim Sum! For breakfast! Hong Kong style. Woo! Welcome to Dim Sum. Hey! Hey! <laughs> So basically we're at this dim sum place and they don't speak English, they only speak Cantonese. So because we have no idea, you just point and you go like, yeah, I'll have one of those or I'll, and, and then they'll get it and you eat it. Thank and you. You have no idea what you're eating, but uh, let's eat it. Uh, dim sum breakfast, so they're dumplings, Hong Kong style. They do eat this for breakfast in Hong Kong like every day. Is this normal? Yeah. Mmm, shrimp ball thing. Shrimp balls. Oh yeah, we're having that. 
<laughs> We're having shrimp balls. We're in this dim sum restaurant having barbecue pork dim sum and shrimp dim sum and just like food that I've never had for breakfast, but it's really good. And then they have custard tarts. You know what I'm talking about, Portuguese people. Pastéis <laughs> nata. In Rosemead, in a Chinese restaurant. Custard tarts, really? Pastéis nata aqui. And they also have these little sesame balls with water nut inside and so good. <laughs> oh my god, so oh good. But the reason I brought you guys here is because I want to do a live tasting of the pastel nata. Because that's typical Portuguese. Ah. Well, it's not quite pastel nata, but it is quite similar. Yay! <laughs> you down. know, like, there's <laughs> the iPhone, and then there's the Chinese iPhone. <laughs> so this, this is a Chinese, Chinese version of, of a, custa, a Portuguese custard tart. So, but, I mean, it won't run as smooth as an iPhone, but you can use it. So, I eat it. Since we're doing the weird stuff today, uh, we decided to have coffee at this Vietnamese coffee place, I guess. So we're having... This, which apparently is coffee with a hazelnut milk. They're kind of strong, but expressive. Super, super strong coffee, but really tasty. So I'll probably have a huge kick of coffee throughout the day, which is going to be great. So <laughs> it's time to go and be a tourist and sightsee the fuck out of LA. Let's do it. So we haven't left Glenn's house because there's <laughs> yes. so much interesting stuff to do. We got a chore from Glenn to make tea. So that right there, my friends, is a Paolo Peppa gallon of tea that we got eight different herbs. That's the recipe over there from the herb cabinet of amazing herbs of Glen, and we made our own version of a special Paolo Pepe tea. And now you're about to see something really cool that you can do at home if you find <laughs> these flowers. <laughs> this is Glen's map. Perfect. Cadi. <laughs> I live in Lisbon. And where are you from? The south, the Algarve. Oh, I guess you're gonna go with Lisbon. Yes. Because you know. Great. What? That's not it. it uh -huh. Great. Boom. Yay. Look at all these people. So Spain was country number 10, Portugal country number 24. We're up to... 58, which I think is Nepal. Oh, 57 is Nepal. Oops, where's 58? Oh, 58. Oh, oh. Scotland. Awesome. That's a really cool map you have here, buddy. Hey. Thank you. See you later. Okay, so have finally, fun. we're leaving the house. <laughs> Only we're one finally car. leaving the house. And I was thinking, like, did I really get an awesome car or did I dream about it? Oh, fuck no, we got a car. Look at that beauty over there. How beautiful is this? We're gonna ride it for 10 fucking days. Happy dance, happy dance, do the happy dance. Do 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 do. Hola, chaval. Oh my god, we're gonna look so cool driving this shit! Pues nada, el cochecito que se le antojaba mi amigo Pau. We're gonna look so cool driving this shit! Oh my god! 
Let's do it. Oh my God, I've got to buy sunglasses. Yeah. It's not going to work without sunglasses. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here. I'll begin to explain the amount of coolness I'm feeling right now. Driving this fucking convertible Camaro. Okay, so we're at our first stop in Los Angeles and it's the amazing Walt Disney Concert Hall. Look at this shit. Wow. Awesome. <laughs> now at Amoeba Music in Sunset Boulevard. This is where it all started. This is one of the biggest vinyl shops ever and now it's just a big big record store so if there's a record and you want to find it it's gonna be here So, this is about to happen. I've been wanting to try this for so long and it's finally happening. Boom! Woo! Yes. yes! Yes, 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 yes. Like expected, there's a huge line. Okay, so this is finally going to happen. If you've been following my vlogs, you know that this is a big dream of mine. So I have the three burgers that they make and the two types of fries that they make and a lemonade just to be healthy. And uh, I'm gonna try the burgers now. In and out, taste test. Here we go. Very, very good, but it's very, very similar to Burger King. So, Shake Shack takes the win. Well, I guess it couldn't all be good. And it's been a pretty good run. In and Out was me. I mean, it's good, but it just felt like. Um, Burger King or if you're from the Algarve and you know Burger Ranch it kind of felt like the same it was just not like amazing like Shake Shack was Shake Shack was an amazing experience this was just amazing. And when I thought I was really full, she came by with something she called Chinese donut. And uh, yeah, so Tin called it a Vietnamese breakfast pastry. So I guess everybody everybody thinks they own it, like the like the custard, right? And so this is what? Well, uh, Tin from Vietnam he referred to these as Vietnamese breakfast pastries, but she said it was a Chinese donut. So you can decide. <laughs> It tastes of absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and
and I need to apologize to absolutely no one. Because this tastes like shit, and I'm still going to have another one, because I didn't taste it with the sauce. Nothing? No. It's kind of like a donut -y pastry kind of thing going. No? But it's like, <laughs> it doesn't really bring anything to my life. Okay. Because everything else was so good. So it kind of let down on the dessert end. This, this just falls short. Even the custard tart was good. Like that sesame ball made me so happy. <laughs> and this made me so sad right now. See people? So you have to know. Last. You have to know when to stop. It's the same shit as gambling. Oh, we went one too far. Yeah, we were good. Everything we was were good, happy. And then we got carried away. We had a lot of money in, and then we go like, all in. We fuck were seduced it. by Chinese donut. We lost, people. We lost.